Happy Wednesday, YouTube family, YouTube friends. I am back with five work from home job leads. These companies, they will train you. So if you're looking for a work from home job lead, where they're going to take you through some training, regardless if you have experience or not, then this video is for you. Also watch the video all the way through because I'm going to show you a free place where you can make your resume for free and make sure that it can pass the applicant tracker system. People are doing it. So you do not have to worry about paying $200 for a resume that is not going to pass the applicant tracker system. I'm going to show you a free place of where you can go and do that for free. So also let me know in the comment section, which job that you can apply for one all the way to five, because it really helps me when I get out here and research these jobs. So let's go ahead and dive right into the jobs. You know that I get very excited when I share my screen. Why? Because there is room at the table for everyone for those who to partake to go out here and grab a job so let's go ahead and dive right into the first job the first job is, is with climate pros they're currently seeking billing specialists to work from home this is a full-time position and when i scroll down the first thing that i'm looking for is the salary I don't see the salary, so I take up on myself to research, and I came up with $41,968 a year, so that is around $20 an hour. Again, like I always say, know your worth, know how much that you're worth so you can go ahead and negotiate your salary at all times necessary. People do it every single day, and what you're going to be responsible for is complete invoice life cycle. You're going to issue your dispatch or complete it and ready for invoicing. You're going to also create submit invoice for equipment sales, as well as costing up invoice and all duties are assigned. And then you're going to research call history to avoid duplicated invoice. And then when you go down to the skills, I want to explain to you on this is that you want to make sure that you put these skills section into your resume, not just throw it in there, just make it look natural so it can pass the ATS, which is the applicant tracker system, excellent oral and written communication skills, advanced math aptitude, detailed and accurate dating entry, strong organization skills. This job only requires a high school diploma or GD, one year of billing invoice and experience. And they also want you to know computer knowledge must include Microsoft Office, like Word, Excel, and Outlook. I tell you to go to Microsoft 365 training where you can learn it for free. And if this is something you want to do, then all you need to do is go and apply for this job immediately because these types of jobs move very quickly. And all you need to do is click right here where it says apply. This is job number one. Now, job number two is I call it with Franklin um, Covey. They're seeking district operation assistant to work from home. And when I scroll down, I am looking for the salary. This is a part-time position. You can work remote anywhere in the United States. The salary is 18, between 18 and $20 an hour. Okay. Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper about what you're going to be doing, the operation assistant will be responsible for providing administrative support to the senior consultant and other members of the team, as well as assisting with special projects. The ideal candidate will have previous experience with leader in me and working in an office environment, being able to work independently with little supervisions. Okay. Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper, you're going to create, organize, and coordinate system and process that support district partnerships, as well as you're going to communicate effectively to all internal and external stakeholders. And then they're looking for three plus years of experience in operation positions. Again, don't let that scare you. Get out there, step out on faith. You never know what can happen. And then I'm not going to go to preferred skills because preferred skills mean if you have it, that's great. If you don't, then don't worry about it. And if this is something you want to do, then all you need to do is go and apply immediately. Again, these jobs move very quickly. And if you come across a job and it's no longer available, please don't get in panic mode. Always explore within the company where you can go here where it says view all jobs and you can see other jobs that may be a good fit for you. And if you want to apply, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply now. This is job number two. OK. Job number three. It's with the company Sheer Swift Capital. Capital. I'm sorry. Um, the, they're searching or they're seeking people coordinators to work from home. This is a full time position, and this is mid level, and you, you'll be working in the human resource department. And when I scroll down, I'm looking for the salary, and I say the salary is between forty five k to around um, 70 k a year. 
and that is around $21 to $33 an hour, and that's not including bonus. This job will give you bonus as well. So when we dive in a little bit deeper about what you're going to be doing is you're going to work closely with hiring managers and people generalists to understand the needs of their department and any required job openings. You're going to coordinate and complete onboarding and offboarding process for team members. You're going to work with finance team to ensure any changes are committed appropriately. And then you're going to go down here. You're going to administrate compliance tasks. You're going to support meetings and events with decks, calendar invites, speakers. And then when you go down here a little bit, they want you to have either a social or bachelor's degree or criminal experience, two plus four years of experience in people or human resource, experience working with remote teams, and then bonus points for experience using Reply or Jazz HR. Now, if this is something you want to do, and then go ahead and apply immediately. To my right, this is considered a quick hire application, meaning it literally take you five minutes or less to complete, but you do not want to rush the process. You want to complete everything to the best of your ability, and you hit that submit application. This is opportunity number three, okay? Opportunity number four is with this company. It's going to go up here. Um, they're currently seeking Cora Health. Um, they're seeking case entry specialist to work from home. This is a full-time position. And when I scroll down, I'm looking for the salary to see if the salary is listed. The salary is not listed, so I take upon myself to do research. When I'm uncertain, I come up with $45,559 per year and all the way that you can make up to 75 k So anywhere between $45,559 a year to 75 k a year, and that is around $21 to $36 an hour. So when we dive in a little bit deeper about what you're going to do is you're going to transcribe information from clients, EMRs into required electronic format, check complete work for accuracy. You're going to also receive and document incoming emails, calls, tech, tickets, or voicemails. You're going to expert and upload documents. Um, that's what you're going to be doing. And then other responsibility as requested by management. Now, the skills requirement, I tell you all the time, is to look at the skills requirement. These are the skills that you need to implement into your resume. Keywords, detail or proactive and self-directed, meets or exceed both quality expectation, organized and action or okay, and excellent critical thinking skills. Now, with this job, it only requires a high school diploma or equivalent. It talks about a bachelor's degree, but that means preferred. If you have it, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, experience with um, Salesforce is a plus. If you don't understand that, put Salesforce in a um, Google and add video at the end of it. There's going to be tons of videos that's going to appear. And then they also want you to be able to be able to um, work between multiple screens. And if this sounds like something that you're able to do, then all you need to do is click right here where it says apply. This is opportunity number four. Now we are down to job number five. It is with the company eScribers. Our scribers, they're looking for legal transcribers to work from home. And when I'm scrolling, I'm looking to see if the salary is listed. I don't see the salary, so I take up on myself to research. The salary is sixteen dollars and eighty-one cents an hour. And when we dive in a little bit deeper about um, what you're going to be doing here, we're going to go all the way up and just to see what you're going to be doing here. They're recruiting legal transcribers to join their team. This position is ideal for candidates who would like to create their own schedules and work from the comfort of their own home, but still want to be a part of a community of encouraging like-minded people. We suggest being able to commit to at least 20 hours per week. Medical transcribers are encouraged to apply. General requirements is you must possess a high school diploma or equivalent. Typing speed of at least 65 words per minute. Make sure you go to officialtypingtest.com where you can practice your typing for free. Excellent grammar and punctuation skills, exceptional listening skills, attention to details. And then it talks about the computer requirements that you can read at your own time. Under this video, I have some foot pedals, USB foot pedals that are very affordable. So if that's something you want to check out, you're more than welcome to check out. And again, you'll be getting paid every week by a direct deposit. Um, your contractor, your independent contractor, which is a 1099, and will be compensated on per word or per page basis, depending on the client. And if this is something you want to do, you scroll down. This is considered a quick hire application, meaning it literally take you five minutes or less to complete. I just want to go over some things. When you download your cover letter or your resume, make sure it is a PDF file. According to hiring manager, 
the PDF file is more re readable to pass the ATS, okay? So that is what I suggest you to do is get a PDF file, fill out everything to the best of your ability. And once you fill out everything to the best of your ability, then you hit that submit application. This is opportunity number five. I gave you five work from home job leads. According to hiring managers and recruiters, they will train you regardless if you have experience or not. Go ahead and apply today. These jobs move very, very quickly. And remember, if you come across a job and it's no longer available, please don't get in panic mode. Explore within the company and see if there's any other remote jobs that is a good fit for you. OK, now I want to go over earn better. I talk about this all the time. A lot of people are spending so much money on getting their resume right and they come out, they can't get a job. It's people that are charging $100, $200 to revamp your resume and you go and use that resume and apply for the different jobs, you're still not getting a job. I ran across Earn Better, okay? This is AI. You can do a resume cover letter. They also do job matches, but I tell you, on the jobs, you have to research for yourself. You have to research, you know, Google the job, contact the human resource, research for yourself. But the point that we're trying to think of uh, do is your resume. This will optimize your resume, put in those keywords and everything. It will do everything for you. So you're going to have to sign up. It's free to sign up. And I'm going to get right here. Take me to my account because I already signed up before. These are previous resumes that it did for me. Um, it will do a cover letter. It would do different other things here. So to my right, I could generate a new document, like a resume, cover letter, thank you, email, follow-up email. It would, do, it would do it for you. It would write it literally for you. You do not have to do it. And if I want to do resumes, I click on resumes. And I have a choice that I want to upload a new resume or start from scratch. If you have a resume, you want to go right here where you upload your resume. And it will walk you step by step of how to optimize and it will optimize and tailor your resume to the job post. But if I have a job in mind and I want to tailor that resume, I can click here, which is already checked and I can hit save and continue. At this point, like say, for example, if I wanted to apply for this billing specialist, I would go back and see a lot of times it can be billing specialist already in here, which it is. I can click on billing specialist and I hit save and continue. And it says, do you have a job description for this role? If so, please paste it below. We need the, the full job description to identify relevant keywords and tailor your resume. It does it for you. So I'm going to click yes because I do. So what I need to do is um, right here, it says put the company's name. I'm going to put the company name is here. Let me see if I can climate pros. So I'm going to type that in here. Climate pros. Okay. And then I'm going to copy and paste the job description. So this is the job description right here. I'm going to co copy this here, right here. And I'm going to put it in uh, here. Okay. So this is the job description. And then I'm going to hit save and continue. And basically what it's doing is looking for keywords. It's taking the keywords from that job post and implement it into your resume. It says select a resume to use as the base. When you are doing a resume, all you need is a plain resume, y'all. Just like it's on here, I can use data entry too. I can use this. All you need is a plain resume. Just black and white, you know, just to pass the applicant track system. It says we found five high Im impact keywords not on your resume. So it's telling you the keywords from the job post. That's why I say always take the keywords from the job post and implement it into your resume so it can help increase your chances of passing the ATS. So the, it's talking about we found five high impact keywords not on your resumes, billing specialists, invoice, accuracy, customer service, inventory tracking. So that let me know that I need to put all of this on here. It says confirm the keywords mentioned in the job description to be added to your resume. So all I need to do is click here. And this will literally add it to my resume. And then also they found these words. These are keywords, y'all. Processing submission, detail order. I need to click here so it can add this to my resume and then finish my document. Okay. So it's fi finalize your resume again. It may take a little bit of while to do this, but look, this is the resume here. 
I made up a fake resume. Again, I got this resume on um, Canva. Canva Canva.com has a lot of resumes. I just put this information in here and it put those keywords in this resume so it increases the chances of passing the African tracking system. And at that time, you can hit finish and you can download it as a PDF file. This is how easy it is, y'all. This is something you need to do is earn better. Go through it and take advantage of this. This is free. I don't see anything that's charged, you know, charging you for anything. Take advantage of this. I'm trying to do everything I can to help you make get a job. This is an easy thing. You do not have to come up with ideas. It would um, tailor your resume, optimize your resume to the job post, okay? So I just want to share that with you, okay? Now, if this video has been helpful thus far, you know what I want you to do is hit that like button as well as I want you to comment. I am the type of YouTuber that I will respond back. I have responded to a lot of the comments that you have left under my videos because you are more to me than just a number. You my YouTube family and you my YouTube friends. And I want to build that relationship with you. Also, subscribe to the channel. I am trying to build a community where we can uplift and encourage one another on our job search and everyday life. And if you want to be a part of that ride, you have to subscribe to the channel. Also, share these videos on your social media platform so more and more people can see what I have to offer each and every single day. Okay? I want you to speak life over yourself because the power of the tongue determines life and death. I want you to go out there and grab what is yours by applying for these jobs. Don't get in your feelings. If I went into my feelings, a lot of people wouldn't do half of the things that they're doing right now. You have to get out of your comfort zone and go out there and apply for these jobs because God has a opportunity for you, but he just wants you to go and take the first step. You have to try. When you've done everything that you can, then you can stand and let God have his way. But there is jobs out there with your name on it, but you have to believe, okay? I talk about stop being a procrastinator and be a doer. Stop talking about it and be about it. Stop being on the sideline and get into the game and apply for these jobs today because there, God has a job out there for you. You just have to take action. Again, faith without works is dead. You have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. You just have to keep pushing, keep applying. Never, ever give up. Don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. Let the company do it. Keep pushing. Pushing means pray until something happens. Prayer changes things. There is an opportunity out there with you. It is a great feeling to be around like-minded people. When you are growing in life, okay, your circle of friends are going to get smaller. That's why I say it's very important to be around like-minded people that's going to encourage you and uplift you and say, hey, when you fall short, hey, get up and apply for a job. Why are you not applying for a job today? You need to be around people like that because we're in the last days and it's very important to protect your peace. If you don't have peace, you don't have nothing. A lot of people are under people that love to keep confusion. And in the word of God, it says God is not the author of confusion. He's of peace. And that's what we need to have is more peace in our life and in this world here. So surround yourself around like-minded people that's going to uplift you and encourage you and speak life into you. And, and that's going to say, hey, you know, get out here and apply for these jobs. There is a job out there for you. You just got to believe you got to take action today. OK, get out there and grab what is yours by applying for these jobs. There's plenty of opportunities. Yes, there's competition. It's going to always be competition. But you have to sit back and say, what can I do different to set myself apart from the people out there? When God has a job out there for you, it's for you. When you're walking in the favor of God, there's nothing that nobody can do about it. That job is for you. Rejection is a part of life, but it's not the end of the world. No, don't mean no. It means next opportunity. So go out there and grab what is yours today by applying for these jobs. Many blessings to each and every one of you. And I pray that whatever you desire in your heart, it shall be given in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.